Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Windows keep freezing randomly on Windows 10 or Windows 11. I will be sharing 7-8 solutions that you need to apply and you will find a great change. The first thing that you will have to do, you need to bring up your file explorer. Then from the left menu option, click on this PC. Now you have to look for local disk T or the drive where your operating system has been installed. Just make a right click and choose properties. Now from the properties box, click on tools and here you will find an option error checking. Click on check, then click on scan drive. Now this will be scanning the drive for any kind of error, for any kind of problems. And if there will be any, either it will automatically fix it or it will give you some recommendation. On my end, I don't have any error. So it says Windows successfully scanned the drive, no error will found. So now you have to close it close everything then you need to click on your windows search type virus from the suggestion you have to choose virus and threat protection now here you will find an option of quick scan click on it and this will be scanning all the system file so you can minimize it then you need to click on windows search again type cmd right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator and a black window will be coming up here you have to type one command that will be sfc space forward slash scan now hit enter now this command will be scanning for all system file looking for any kind of integrity violation so kindly wait until this is 100 percent completed and meanwhile we can just minimize it next i would also recommend that please scan your system pc for any kind of malware and for that, I would recommend the Malwarebyte, which is a very powerful tool. So once you come on this website, you have to click on free download. Just download it, install it. And once installed, you will be getting this kind of page. Click on get started and you will find a scan option. You have to click on scan and this will be scanning for all kind of malware infection on your computer. So once you get it, you just delete it once done. You also need to make sure that your system has been set to high performance. So click on your Windows search, type power cfg.cpl. Hit the enter key. The power options will be coming up. Now it might be set to power saver or balanced. You need to click on show additional plans and choose high performance. In case if you do not find high performance, I have already created a video. You can just watch that video and enable this option. Once you are done, you can close it. Next, you need to make a right click on the Windows icon. Then you have to click on settings. Now here, scroll down and you will find the storage option. Click on it and make sure the storage sense option has been enabled. Then you have to click on temporary files. And then here you'll see all kind of temporary file that is occupying the space. Uh, if you don't need the downloads, recycle bin or Windows update, then you can just check all these options. And you can see that it's free up around 2.67 gigabyte. It can be more on your end. So once selected, you have to click on remove file. And once it's been completed, now we are remaining with two more simple steps where you have to disable the startup application. Right click on the Windows icon again, click on task manager. On Windows 10 from the top menu option, you have to click on startup. On Windows 11, you can click startup apps here from the left hand side. Now here you have to disable the startup application like MSH, OneDrive, Discord, Skype, all kind of third party application. Make sure it's not been enabled. Right click on it and choose disable. Once done, you have to disable a sysmain service. So click on your Windows search type services. Click on services app. Now look for sysmain. Once you get it, double click on it. The startup type should be set to automatic or manual. You have to click on the drop down and choose disable. And make sure the service status has been stopped. Once done, you have to click on apply and then click on OK. After that, just restart your PC and you will find that the lagging issues and the freezing problem randomly has been fixed on your Windows 10 and Windows 11. So that's all guys hopefully this video will work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye